Hi, I'm Kelly with Penn State Pesticide Education. Today I'm going to show you how to operate our DB Pest robot. Typically, DB comes in one piece, just like this. However, sometimes he will come in two pieces. Today, we're going to show you how to assemble DB, operate his batteries, and control his voice. If DB comes in two pieces, you'll simply have to take his top half with one pin connector and attach it to his bottom half with the second pin connector. The black pin connector has specific numbers on the top part. You'll want to make sure that the numbers from the top part are aligned with the bottom part. Take the two black pieces, place over top, and downward screw the two pieces together. Go ahead and place DB's top over his bottom. DB has three batteries. The first battery is actually a car battery. That will be placed in his trunk. There is a red and black connector which matches up with the inside. When you are placing the battery in, there's a red and black connection post on the battery. That needs to be inserted into DB, matching up the red with the black. After that's connected, go ahead and switch his main on-off switch to on. DB's second battery comes from his remote control. The black remote control is equipped with a white battery. You might have to insert this into the remote control. As you can see, it's very similar. A red and black connector with a connector on the white battery. Simply insert in and place the battery in the remote control. It does, the battery will click into place once and making sure that the wires are also securely under the battery. Go ahead and put the bottom piece on. Again, clicking into place and his remote control is ready for operation. DB's remote controller has a couple different buttons. The first is the on off switch. It's the small black button that needs to be pushed upward. Once that is pushed upward, make sure that these other black pieces are centered. This enables DB to move the way that you want him to. On the left, we have the operations for his head and for his eyes. Moving this joystick up and downward will move his head from side to side. Putting the joystick down will make him blink. On the other side is his controller to make the, make the car move forward or backwards. Simply move up for forward and down for backwards. You might want to take a few minutes to learn how to operate DB Pest. His movements can be kind of sudden, so be sure to take time to figure out how to operate him. special features on DB Pest, such as his lights, which turn on and off, a flash, which turns on and off the red and blue buttons, as well as a voice and a siren. Use those on occasion. The final and maybe the most enjoyable part of DB Pest is being able to operate his voice. You have a receiver, a transmitter, and a headset that enables you to talk as DB Pest with your voice slightly altered and enables you to hear students talking to DB Pest. Make sure that you turn your transmitter and your receiver on. Hi, Hi I'm, DB, I'm Pest. DB Pest. I would be more than happy to come to your school, fair, or any other educational event. I would love to see both children and adults. You now know how simple it is to operate DB Pest. It only takes a couple minutes to feel comfortable operating his controls, and speaking on behalf of his voice. If you have any questions, as always, you can contact the Penn State Pesticide Education Office.